portion of the program basically is why do you deserve our vote. I would like to go back to the instance of Paul McKee, in which I am one of the plaintiffs that filed a post in the city. Going forward, you just stated that if the city doesn't recoup its losses from Paul McKee, he would have a right of way of walking away. If that's not true, no, I believe right now, the right of way is that he really doesn't have to do anything. You just recently passed a bill that was voted on for $409 million in till. Now, what happens to that $409 million till with the lawsuit that is pending in the Supreme Court right now does not pass in its favor? Can that money be split between the 28th Ward or North St. Louis to do development in small increments? Now, the way the TIF is set up, that TIF would just basically go away and you would have to pass a TIF within those various different districts for whatever project you were going to do within that district. But right now, what I stated about Paul McKee is exactly on point. He has control of all of the LRE properties. What the city can put in the language on the contract is a clawback clause, meaning that if you don't perform, we can come back, a right of re-entry, we can come back, claw back, or re-enter this property in these various different ways. But what is not in there is a clause that says you cannot incur any debt on that property. So, we give it to him for $3 million, he pulls $10, $12 million out of it, and we have a clawback clause that says if you don't redevelop it, we can come back and re-enter. He says, yeah, you can re-enter, give me $9 million, and it's yours, tomorrow. So, there lies the problem with just getting that LRE property back. So, right now, we're sitting in a situation where we've played all our chips, we've given them everything, and now we're kind of at his mercy. That's why it's really important that we have a successful project. We have to carve something out of this thing and make it hit, a successful project. And when we do that, we have an opportunity for banks and everything else to get engaged in this thing and make sure that the thing is funded going down the road. We've given away everything. So, the question is, I guess, what truly is at stake here? Because you're saying that you have a successful project. Right now, Room 200, the mayor's office, there's not much engagement there at all in terms of holding the developer accountable. That's why last night, I don't know how many of you attended the forum last night, but my comments at the forum was there's two ways to do development. You could do it to a community or with a community. So, the reason why the people that are stuck within that development area, the Paul McKee area, they're not mad because development's coming to their area. They're mad because development is being done to them opposed to including them in the process. And therein lies the difference. So, what we need to do, number one, what will happen when I become your next mayor is I will begin to redefine that relationship between Paul McKee and the people that live within that district.